Henry was never able to resist me before. You must have an opinion. Barbara, please tell me, what do you think it means? Well, I think it's fairly obvious. You left Henry, and then you came waltzing back, expecting to pick things up right where they left off. Well, is that so wrong? Well, I think maybe Henry feels that you expect him to prove how much he loves you in bed. And that's a lot of pressure on a man, especially after you've broken his heart. So how do I fix it? Back off. Way off. Give him some time to figure it out. Stay away. Let him come to you. Greg? Henry? Why are you and Barbara here together? We were hungry. Why do you care? I don't. I don't. I'm just curious. That's all. Do you have any designs on her? Designs? Are you on a date? <laughs> I, oh, I see now. Barbara's using me to make you jealous, and it's obviously working. What are you, what are you talking about? I'm not jealous. Yeah, whatever you're saying. Here I thought. What? What did you think? You thought that she was into you? Doesn't matter now. Mystery solved. <laughs> Henry, there you are, darling. I was getting worried. You know, I want to go over. Well, uh, what about dessert? Let's get it at Al's. You know, this place has bad vibes. Let's go. Barbara, hmm. you don't really think you can compete with Vienna, do you? I don't know what the hell you're talking oh about. Oh, my God, you do. Give it up. You can't possibly win. Says the man who always loses. Fine, go ahead, humiliate yourself, but I don't have to stick around and watch it. You can find your own way home, can't you? since I've been gone? Of course not. You know, I'd only have pepper cocker with you. Well, I hope you still like them because you are about to have the best pepper cocker of your life right out of the oven. There's nothing like your hot pepper cocker. Well, I'm glad you still remember. It's unforgettable. You know, Henry, I gotta be completely honest with you. When I was home in Sweden, there was another man. And he was handsome and powerful and very rich. He was every girl's dream. And he was mine for taking. Did you take him? No, because he wasn't you, Henry. Listen, life is no fun without you. I'm, it was hard for me too. I, and knowing that I hurt you, it made it so much worse. All the grief and the guilt over Brad's death, I, God, I've been so lonely my whole life. Craig, you invite me to lunch, then you abandon me, stick me with the bill and the cab fare. Consider it a fee for services rendered. What services? You use me as an emotional cattle prod so you could get at Henry Coleman. You're out of your mind. Yes, but I still don't want a second date. You asked me out. That's because I thought you were spying on my company. Why the hell would I want to spy on you? I already know everything I ever want to know about you. Feelings mutual. And I don't appreciate the comment that I'm trying to compete with Vienna Hyatt. It was rude, chauvinistic, and only a mule would say something like that. Just because I'm not in my 20s anymore doesn't mean that I'm still not hot and desirable. 
It's all relative. And just for your information, Henry and I are extraordinary together. We're combustible. Whereas with Vienna, he's having a few hydraulic problems. A lot more information than I needed. Thank you very much. You really think I can't compete? It pains me to admit this, but actually Henry did seem pretty jealous. You're welcome. Speed.